Hello, fifth standard students. How are you all? I hope all you are fine. So, without wasting our time, we are going to start our next session of mathematics of topic four, that is parts and whole. In the last session, I gave you a one activity. I hope you have all done that activity. Now look at here how we can do this. I gave you that activity that it is make a bill of your own vegetable on for vegetables you want to buy and find the total money you will have to pay. Look at here dear students as like this you can make a bill of your own for vegetables you want to buy. The first item is potato and I want to buy it uh, of Three and a half kg, but the price of one potato, one kilo potato is rupees thirty. So the total amount of potato is one hundred five. The next item, I want to buy tomato three kg, and the price of one kg tomato is rupees forty. So the total amount of tomato is rupees one ten, one twenty. Now I want to buy one of one one fourth kg for cabbage, and the price of one kg cabbage is rupees twenty. So the total amount of cabbage is rupees twenty five. So the total amount of vegetable is rupees two hundred fifty. As like that, you can make a bill of your own veg for vegetables that you want to buy. So I hope you have done all this. This uh, make a bill of your own for vegetables you want to buy in your notebook. Now we will move forward for our next activity. Now the activity and the question related to Rahim's journey. Rahim has to travel one one fourth kilometer to reach school. What distance has he traveled to go to school and come back home? Distance traveled by Rahim to reach school from home is one one fourth kilometer. Distance traveled by Rahim to return home from school is equal to one one fourth kilometer. So the, t the total distance traveled by Rahim is equal to one one fourth kilometer per plus one one fourth kilometer. So the addition, how we can do addition? Look at here, one plus one, and the fractions are one fourth plus one fourth. So this one plus one becomes two, and one fourth and one fourth becomes two fourth. Now here we have to find out the sh shortest form of two fourth. That is two ones are two and two twos are four. So instead of two fourth, we can write here half. So the total distance travelled by Rahim is two half and a half kilometer. Thus, the total distance travelled by Rahim to go and return from school is two and half kilometer. Now the next question is related to coins. Latha bought a pencil and a pen for seven and a half rupees. She gave rupees ten. The shopkeeper gave back the money in half and quarter rupees. What are the coins he got? Cost of a pen and pencil is rupees seven and a half. Total money given to the shopkeeper is rupees ten. So the total money returned to Latha by the shopkeeper. Here we have to do subtraction. So rupees ten minus rupees seven and half. So ten minus seven minus half becomes three and half. Three minus half. So when we subtract the half from three, we get the answer two and a half. So we know that the one quarter rupee is equal to twenty five paise and one half rupee is equal to fifty paise. Now the shopkeeper can return rupees two and a half. In the following way, the first one, one half rupee coin and eight quarter rupee coin. Second, four half rupee coin and two quarter rupee coin. Third one, two half rupee coin and six quarter rupee coin. And the D, three half rupee coin and four quarter rupee coin. Dear students, you have to do calculation how the shopkeeper can return two and half rupees. To the latha by this following way. So this is your today's homework that you have to solve this all the of ways how he can how the shopkeepers can return rupees two and a half kg. 
two and a half rupees. From this picture, you can see this is a picture of an railway of a railway station, and because you can see here there are the railway rules are there, and here is a sticker where uh, we can listen announcement, and here is the one lady, and from his her face we can. Uh, recognize that she is worried but why she is worried look at here what is the announcement your attention please mangalore express coming from mangalore and going to tiruvananthapuram is now running late by half an hour oh that lady is worrying about because the train is late the second picture shows us that one boy is Uh, thinking or saying that oh the train is late today the right time is quarter to seven so dear student what is the quarter to seven find out what is the exact time at quarter to seven this is also your homework that you have to write the answer in your notebook what time is the train expected to come today the correct time for the arrival of the train is quarter to 7 that is 6 we fought hours but the train is late by half an hour so the expected time of the arrival of the train that is 6 three-fourths plus half hour so by solving this fraction we can find out 4 six za 24 Plus three twenty-seven. So instead of this improper fraction, we can write twenty-seven upon four plus half. Now here we have to equalize the denominator because this is the four and here is two. So to equalize the denominator, here we will multiply by two to the numerator and denominator. So together we get twenty-seven upon four plus one into two by two into two. That is twenty-seven upon four plus Two upon four. So now the denominators are same, so we can write only for the one time. And twenty-seven plus two becomes here twenty-nine. So twenty-nine upon four, four is a proper fraction, and we can find out the improper fraction that is seven and one fourth. So the train expected to come today at seven one fourth hours. Thus, the expected time to the arrival of the train is quarter past seven. Nazia gets off at a station after two and a half hours from his station. What time will she got get off? Expected time of the arrival of the train is quarter. Past seven, that is seven one one fourth hours. Nazia gets off at station after two and half hours of boarding the train. The time at which Nazia will get off seven one fourth plus two half, that is together twenty nine fourth plus five upon two. Here the improper fractions are converted into proper fractions. So now we will get. By equalizing denominators, twenty nine upon four remains same. But now, uh, in case of five upon two, we have to do here denominator four. So here we have to multiply two. But at the denominator side, if we are multiplying by two, that means also we have to multiply at the numerator by two. So five into two divided by two into two. So here we get twenty nine upon four plus ten upon four. So now the denominators are same, so we can write for the one time. So twenty nine plus ten will be at the numerator. Together we get thirty nine divided by four. That is thirty nine upon four, and we can write it nine three four. Thus, Nadia will get off from the train at quarter to ten. Charge will take five hours to reach Ernakulam by this train. At what time will he reach there? Now look at here. Charge will reach Ernakulam by this train after five hours. Expected time to the arrival of the train is seven one fourth hours. 
an expected time at which Shadi will reach Ernakulam. Now look at here how. The 5 hours, Shadi will take 5 hours to reach Ernakulam by this train. So we have to do here addition 714 plus 5. And by equalizing denominator, we get the answer 1214. So, dear students, the Shaji will reach Arnakulam at quarter past 12. So, dear students, you have to solve all the questions in your notebook and this is your homework. Here we have finished our fourth topic that is parts and whole. But if you have any queries and doubts, you can ask me in a comment box. Okay, till then, have a good day.